happy, happy. <laughs> Trying to pin it to the top of the comments and it's not letting me do it. So you guys will have to take the two groups and share them throughout. Because it's not letting me. So who all's on tonight? Tell me, tell me. I know LaVon's here. There's Sue. Hey, Sue. Maybe it'll just be us. <laughs> Go spread the love and add big announcement. It's not letting me pin to the top of the comments, so we'll have to share it throughout. We'll have to share the, the two pages throughout. Hi, Rita. Looks like it's just us tonight. Or nobody's fessing up that they're here. <laughs> and somebody can watch the comments for me and answer them. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. It's like it's just us. Well, hey, Susan, how are you? Where are you watching from? Thank you. Hi, Maggie. Maggie's here for the big announcement. Woohoo! And Susan's here for the big announcement. We got a bunch of announcements tonight. Might as well plug in my glue gun just in case. Might need it. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Make sure I have my sound here turned off. Oh, everything's in the way tonight. Hmm. Okay. Got to turn that down so we don't have an echo. There we go. Okay, we're doing um, a pancake wreath tonight. I made my own um, frame. And, thank you, Sandy. And I put six on the top and six on the bottom. I like to use tinsel tie roping. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It comes in a roll like this. And I cut it at 12 inches. I found the quality of the um, pipe cleaners, it just isn't there. It breaks, and I'm not using them anymore, so I'm using the tinsel tie. I cut them at 12 inches. I wrap them around the first two on the bottom row, and these two on the top row, and I also add a little dab of glue. Miracle is doing great. She really is. Now I just lost it. There we go. Okay, we got 16 watching. So let's hope we get enough on here. It just made me lose my page. I love this computer when it's working. All right, now I lost the comments. There we go. All right. All right, first announcement is, and I can finally share, because I couldn't share before, I'm gonna be a grandmom in February. 
So that announcement was just made today. The baby is due on the 29th leap year. So thank you, Maggie. I appreciate it. We want to get up to, let's see, we've got 18 on. We want to get up to 25 so we can make the announcement. And it's really, really big. So that's what we're leading up to. But we need 25 people and we've got 18. So keep spreading. Oh, and I have to show you this. I also do embroidery. I have an embroidery machine and I just had a request for this. There was a baby born a couple days ago. So I do a birth square. I have all kinds of cubbies. This is an elephant. I have them in blue also. See, I'm losing my comments here. So that's just another one of the many hats I wear. I know, I'm so excited. And it's so awesome because my daughter-in-law was in a, in a bad car accident about a year and a half ago and now everything supposedly is good. All right, up, oh, we're up 21. Four more and we'll make the announcement. Share and share away. Okay, I cut my mesh, at 10 inch mesh at 20 inches. I'm just doing ruffles. Oh, well. Levon is down where the storm is brewing. So, how many are we up to now? We're at 20. We're getting there. We just want to make sure everybody's on so we can announce it. Because you guys are going to be shocked. Well, you shouldn't be shocked. But it's going to freak you out. And hopefully you'll be happy. Are you hearing an echo? Okay. Go back out and come back in. Debbie, I charge $29.95 for those. I add a nice bow to the neck, and I can also put them in a beautiful cellophane wrapper with a bow. I have all kinds. This is just one of them. This is the elephant. That's for a little girl. How many are we up to now? Go back out and come back in real quick if you're if you're still hearing the echo. Hello, chips. There's miracles, Daddy. She is great. <laughs> It may not let you. I don't know. Okay. Maggie said there's 27 on, so I can make the announcement. All right. You ready? Because here goes. All right. There are eight of us who have decided that we're going to take our business to the next level. Now, we've created two groups. One is Fabulously Fine Designers. And the second group is Fabulous Dreams Design Group. So with the eighth, we have Carla from the One Stop Boutique. We have Rita from Rita's Wreath Barn. We have Dawn from Wreath Decor by Dawn. We have Sandy from Trending Designs by Sandy. Tequila from Unbreathables. Un Susan from AC Inspired Wreaths. Levon is from Forever Dreams of You by Levon. And myself, Robin's Re3. Now, what this means is we have decided to combine all our design knowledge and create two groups. Now, in, in the links, you'll see... <laughs> 
in the links you'll see the two links to our new pages all right it'd be down at the bottom because it won't let me pin it to the top and someone else i think um, carla or rita or somebody can share it for you but we're going to start this group starting tonight okay now you can go on to fabulously fine designers and check out our new our new page and then the paid group is fabulous design dreams design group now this will this group will allow you to have four hours of training each week you'll have access to eight designers at any time we will be doing um there's a two-hour class a zoom class where we'll go over any questions you might have about designs we will also be um, doing our lives within the group so everybody that's in the group is on here and let me tell you it's going to be an awesome group we have decided that with our talents combined you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck so if you have any questions about the group um, please feel free to write it in the comments all the girls are on tonight they're hoping that you know you go to our group and it's sign up to watch the first one and if you're interested in the paid group then um, there's instructions on how to to set that up I hope you're all happy for us we've worked on this a while we've been talking about it a while and we just decided to go for it yes i am one of the design oh tequila is one of the designers yes there's carla rita dawn sandy tequila susan laban and myself the cost is 19.95 a month you can opt in at any time and opt out at any time. Yes, it is super exciting, Sandy. And I'm glad you're a part of it. Thank you, Sherry. It's been a long time coming and we're super excited because when you have a group on your own, it's really hard to take care of everybody. Good. You can join the other group, Maggie. We just felt with all of us in on it, you'll have access to a lot more designing help. Um, each one of us brings something different to the table. <laughs> Rita's super excited. Can you guys tell? We all are because we've been talking about it for a while. We all have our strengths and we just felt that it would be an awesome opportunity for people to learn from us. We are making um, a pancake wreath today. Now a pancake wreath is a wreath that for people that live up north, it's great because it fits really nicely between your storm door and your house door. There are six ties on the bottom and I put a tie in the middle of each section and then on the top layer I put the first two rows I put one at the crossbar I use tinsel ties I do not use pipe cleaners because I found the pipe cleaners break too easily so this stuff is solid it's what you would get on an elevated wreath if you bought it with the ties already on it too The frame is a 15 inch frame. The ruffles are cut at 20 inches. 
Yes, it's going to be an awesome group. The motivation is going to be incredible. You're welcome. No problem. Now with a pancake wreath, you always put your ties in the, in their, well, you always put the ties on the lower level before you do your mesh at the top. Because it's a lot harder to do when you do it that way. Thank you for saying that, Maggie. That means a lot coming from you. I got these, um, okay, the tinsel tie I bought from Sims. They have it at Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet only has a few colors. Um, Sims, it's hit or miss on their color selection. But what, I think that one's from, that one's from Trendy Trade. Because when I get them from Sims, they come like this. So this is Trendy Tree, because Sims didn't have black. And I cut them at 12 inches. I love it, because it just holds. How many times have you made a wreath with those darn um, pipe cleaners and had them snap on you? That happens to me all the time. And I've purchased really good ones, too. And these, I can tear them pull them, tug on them, whatever, and they still manage to stay. I've never had them break on me. So what do you guys all think about the group? I am so lucky to be working with these women. We inspire each other, we support each other, and that's what we can bring to the table for you. Oh, the sign I'm using tonight is Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. And this is a hard sign because if you go with a light color, it's, it's not going to work. So I actually went with something that had black and beige in it, and then I'm also working off the brown and the orange. They'll see it, Chad. They're always looking for pictures of Miracle. Chad is, is Miracle's daddy now. Thank you, Carla. If you're not joining the pay group, that's okay. But join our group, our regular group. Because there's things we're going to share on there. And wait till you guys see the lineup of what we have in store for the paid group. We'll be going on and doing lives, two of us at a time. It's going to be awesome. I hope you can come out and support us. Because these women are incredible. If you haven't done so already guys can you post your individual pages on here too for me okay we're finished with the bottom row so now we're going to start on the top row i know tell them tell them tequila we want to love on them Right, Susan? <laughs> Incredible. We are awesome. Sandy, put your link in there to your business, if you would, or if you can. Dawn, put yours in there. Susan, Tequila, 
Put your individual pages in there. And because we all have different ideas, the variety is going to be incredible. Right, guys? Yes. Did somebody share it with the uh, yeah. with Lori's page and the re-therapy? Because I'm not seeing a whole lot of everybody on here. Boy, somebody got a lot of crooked here. I know, right? We have inspired each other, supported each other. It has just been incredible. And I, I can't imagine doing it without them. It has been so fun. We have laughed. We have cried. <laughs> we have worried. It's just been an incredible journey, and I can't wait to see where it takes us. I know, right, Tequila? We could. We could make the kit six different ways, or eight different ways. We could. That's what's so neat about it. We all have a different different take on things and it's incredible see Carla's sharing the uh, the web or the Facebook pages that the URL We were hoping to announce it a different way, and that didn't happen, so we had to do it this way. And how lucky was I, right? All of us wreath, but many of us do other things. Sandy does chalk and door. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that out loud. And then Yvonne does furniture painting. A lot of us do florals. I do sewing. There's going to be so many different things that you could do. And learn. Oh my gosh. And what's nice, we take the time with the individual calls too. So if you're having a problem, we're there for you. It may not be me, could be tequila, may not be tequila, could be Dawn, could be any of us. That's just the way we roll. Hi, Anita, welcome. Anita, you missed the announcements. I can mention Chalk Tour. Okay, Sandy does Chalk Tour. Anita, we just announced we started our own paid group, our own regular group and a paid group. And there's eight designers in our group. How cool is that? We are going to blow you away. And all my my seven partners are on here. I have to go back so I don't forget anybody. We got Carla from the One Stop Boutique. We got Rita from Rita's Wreath Farm. We got Dawn from Wreath Decor by Dawn. We've got Sandy from Trending Designs by Sandy. We've got Tequila from Unbreathable. We've got Susan from AC Inspired Wreaths. We got Levon from Forever Dreams of You by Levon. 
I know we're so excited. So you need to go like our new page. And then if you're interested, we have the business page also. All the links are in here. We are super stoked because there it's not like it's going to be spread just through one person. Everybody's going to take, take a hold here. Thank you, Rita. There's Rita's regular page, business page. You guys should go like their pages and then go like our new page. And if you're interested in our design group that comes with eight designers, check it out. And you guys are getting close to the holidays and we are just exploding with ideas. We're doing a pancake style wreath. We've got 20 inch, um, 10 inch mesh cut at 20 inches. Pancake style wreath only has 12 ties. And with this style, you have to put the ties on the bottom row before you even start the top row. Go back out and come back in, Anita. You don't want to miss any more. Or if you're on your phone, don't you swipe to the left or something? Okay. Now see, for us northerners, this is the kind of wreath you want. One that fits between the doors. See how thin that is? But yet, from the top, it doesn't look that thin. And look, when you have this style, you can fit more in your closet to store them. <laughs> okay, we're going to figure out, I think I'm going to put the sign about right here. Okay, because I want to put the bow probably about right here. I have a pumpkin that actually matches the pumpkin on the sign. It's all beaded. And then, because there's acorns on the sign, it also has some picks with acorns. And if I wanted to, I actually have some burlap leaves. But, I don't know. I like the orange leaf better. And I think it looks good there. So, we'll figure it out as we go. You have a storm door in Texas, too? Oh, that's cool. I thought it was only up here. Look at that. Sandy's got them in her neck of the woods, too. Somewhere. Here we go. Now, I have three of these wreath kits available, if anybody is interested. Okay, there's Tequila's page. Sandy, did you add your page? Because I want them to have all our, our regular pages and our new page. There you are. Anita's back. I was saying I have three of these in wreath kit. They would be 42 plus shipping. Okay, good. Thank you, Sandy. I just only have one pumpkin that looks like this one. Oh, cool. You have one too, Tequila? Wow. Neat. I love this sign. But it's a hard one to match your colors to. That's why I came up with the black with the burlap in it. We're all worried about LaVon because she's in Florida. And that's the nice thing about this group too. Most of us live in different time zones. 
So, really? Huh. I always thought it was a northern thing. Cool. So what do y'all think of our announcement? Did we surprise you? I'm just so glad I was able to announce that I'm going to be a local grandma. It told me the 4th of July. I thought I'd never be able to announce it. All right, we've got a sign on. There we are so far. Chad added a link to a Miracle's picture. If anybody wants to see Miracle. Okay, let's do our bow before we go any further. Then we'll see where everything else is going to go. No. No, I think. And then we put all the birth information on it. Isn't she cute? Now, because she's a little girl, I'm going to put bows in her hair, too. But that one goes out tomorrow. And I watched Rachel do one of those diaper trikes today. That was awesome. My grandbabies live three hours away, so I don't always get a chance to see them. So this little grandbaby is only going to be 15, if that, minutes down the road. So I am stoked that I'm going to get to see that little one. I am so excited. Now you all know I don't use that middle wire that they wrap around. Oh, what am I doing? I'm starting with that one. Don't want to start with that one. Now I'm going to throw this in the front. Where am I? Yeah. I'm going to have a little one right in the front. Just a one looper. Thank you, Maggie. They come like that, and then I, uh, I add all the information to it. The baby is due on February 29th, leap year. Huh. Now see, I just use it freely. My my um, wire. I don't do it the way everybody else does it. This is what works for me. So you have to do what works for you. They announced it on Facebook today and put a little picture of my son, his little frog, and baby shoes, and a picture of the ultrasound. So, it's so cute.
And I'm into the into uh, all the Deterra oils, and Deterra has a has a few um, baby items too. So, ah! whoa, that's awesome! Another baby to love on. Dawn's gonna be a grandmom too. So tequila, Dawn, myself, ooh, it's going to be a lot of babies in this group. I don't know if I wanted to just do one row of each color since I don't want the thing to be too big. <laughs> she does have a tribe. <laughs> That's funny. the other one. There we go. That's neat, Maggie. We've been missing you in the group, girl. We'll loan you some, Rita. Don't worry, we won't let you be the the only one without one. I think it's you, but let me know if it's not. I don't see Sue Merrick on here. Where's everybody tonight? They abandoned us? Don't we know it? We hear you, Maggie. We'll pray for you. Something will come along. We just know it. Now, what is Tom Horton or Tim Horton? What do you do there? I'm going to end up with brown. That's awesome, Anita. Hi, Joy. Oh my gosh, y'all. Joy just joined us. She missed the announcement. Ooh, that sounds neat, Maggie. Share the announcement with Joy. She popped on late. We don't want her to miss out. I can smell the coffee now, Maggie.
Okay. We've got our bow. I'm going to put this little guy right here. He's a cutie. He's getting lonely over there. got to keep me company. I know I got out a... Yep, I did. There it is. Zippy tie. guys put the links up there again oh it's um i also do sewing anita and i make first square elephants and other animals it has all the birth information on it Thank you, Maggie. That means a lot. We hope that we can make a big difference. No, I didn't make the, I buy them like this, but I have a, a 10 needle embroidery machine that does all the embroidery on it. I'm not that talented. I mean, I probably could, but <laughs> I wouldn't. It, that's just not something I have time for. But. I would love to, but. I've got a bunch of stuff planned. Um, I've been watching that Tickle Me So. Have you seen her page? She has got the cutest ideas. Taking something store bought and changing it into something else. So she started my juices flowing again. I'm making some gnomes. I've got gnomes coming out my ears upstairs. <laughs> Y'all know the new color this year is uh, is like turquoise and red. So I'm making a lot of gnomes. And they're awesome because they won't weigh your wreath down. They're very lightweight. I know. I've sent them all over the United States. I have um, a page, Robin's um, Stitches and Yorkie Nest, and yes, I sell them. They're $29.95. This little girl, she's going to get some little bows put up here. Thank you, Maria. So who, who didn't hear our announcement? 
Who do we need to share our announcement with? Glad we don't have smell of vision. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put the bow on our pancake wreath. This is what we've got so far. Pancake style, you only have 12 ties on it. Now, I'm thinking it would look better up top. What do you think? And then the pumpkin down here. Yeah, like that. You didn't hear the announcements, Joy? Somebody share the announcements with Joy. She didn't hear our fabulous news. Trying to find where this ruffle does not cross over. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Coming in ja in February, February 29th, so it'll be a leap year, baby. Okay, so we got our bow, matches our sign. Now... Okay, I'm thinking, let me stretch these out. I'm thinking this pumpkin right there. And these tinsel ties are so strong. And you know what I like about them too? When you're using a pre-made wreath, your tinsel ties are so fat, they just stick out all over. These are like thin. They're thin in width, not in strength, but in width. So I'm thinking I need to stick one of these in there. So, there we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. Whoop. Let it dry a minute. And then I have these. Because the sign has acorns on it, I wanted to use these picks because they have realistic looking acorns on it. These were from one of my suppliers. And I have three of these wreath kits available. It'll just have to be a different um, pumpkin because I only had one of these pumpkins. All right, get this down in here, tie it down. What I'm gonna do is take it down Bring it back up, wrap it around to secure it in place. Look at that. And it matches the pumpkin on the sign. Is that not awesome? Oh no. It's gotta be your internet, dear. No. Gonna hide some of these tinsel ties. And for those of you that just jumped on, I use um, it's called tinsel tie roping instead of pipe cleaners. They're cut at 12 inches, and they hold up fabulous.
and they're not fat like the ones you get on the elevated wreaths and they're not thin like pipe cleaners they actually hold in place I put a little spot of glue on when I was making my wreath base Ooh, you back I want to know where our Susie Q is. Our Sue, Merrick. Some of our friends, our regulars, aren't on here tonight. Maybe because of the holiday. Now, where to put these? Kind of like that one there. Kind of like this one about here, just a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. I just want it a little bit. And this one about here. And I can spread up and down. And then this one off this way. Man, this mesh is thick. There we go. And I think the tinsel ties, they have a better... Um, a better um, selection of colors too. And like I said, when you get an elevated wreath base, the tinsel ties are, or the tinsel ties they have on there are always so fat and ugly looking. These tinsel ties are thin. Easy to hide too. Oh no. Come back, Susan or Sandy. And in our group, we will have wreath kits available too. How we like it. Everybody's getting kicked off, Dawn, so keep getting booted off. And look how thin. That'll fit between any storm door and house door. And it'll store so easy in the closet on a hanger. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. How do you guys store your wreaths? I'll show you how I store mine. I have um, closet shelving down here. And when I put my zip tie in here, I just take a hanger and I hang it in my closet. Thank you, Marilyn. That's how I store my wreaths. And see how thin that is? Look at how many more wreaths should fit in the closet. Isn't that awesome? So the tinsel tie, or the pancake wreath, there are 12 ties, six on the bottom, in the middle, on the bottom two rows. The top two rows you have them at the crossbar. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. I know it's awesome, right? All right. What questions do you have? You've got all eight designers on here tonight. You have to have some questions. 
Hit us with some. We'll give you an answer right on the spot. Yes, Anita, it's called the pancake method. You got six ties. What did I do? Okay. I did the six ties on the bottom at the crossbar. And that, no, I have it backwards, right? Yep. Six in the middle, one in each section. So that gives you six. And then you go up to the top two layers and put it at the crossbar. All right, so what questions do you have for us? Got to have some questions. Okay, this is called tinsel tie. Now the rolled up came from Trendy Tree. The other one I had, where'd I put it? I just had it here. The other one comes like this. This is from Sims. And I think there's like 20, 26 inch, or no, 26 feet, no, 25 feet. So I cut them at 12 inches. Let me show you how I do it. This is for a different wreath, okay? But what I do is, okay, here's some leftover. I cut it at 12 inches, and then I wrap it between the two bars. I put a little spot of glue there and there, and then twist. And it holds, and it is amazing. I used to use pipe cleaners. And I got so sick of them breaking. So I went to the tinsel ties. And I'm so glad I did. And they're pretty inexpensive. I mean, it runs about a dollar. And then Trendy Tree, when they sell them, they sell them like this. They just roll it up. So it's another step, you've got to cut them, but um, compared to, okay, this is your normal elevated wreath, all right? Look how thick, now thick, I mean wide, and, and they just, they just don't look appealing to me. This is in between this and pipe cleaners. Because this is way thicker than pipe cleaners. It's actually wire roping through there. So it's way thicker than a pipe cleaner. How many times have you sat and you've been working on a wreath and you go like this and the pipe cleaner breaks? Or you messed up, you, you were out of order, so you have to go back and fix it. And it doesn't work. It snaps on you. So... I got tired of the snapping, so now I, I'm using up what ones I do have. But see how easy it is to bury them? I mean, when you have them like this, they just stick out. And they're about the same length as these, it's just that they're so wide. I think my mesh came from Craft Outlet. So I used a 10 inch roll. I cut it at 12 inches or 20 inches, excuse me, did a ruffle, 
Now with the pancake wreath, you have to put your ties on the bottom before you start the next layer. <coughs> I know, right? My pipe cleaners always break. It's a little more expensive than pipe cleaners. I think it's like a dollar something. And I know you can get a really nice size box of pipe cleaners for less than that. But I can ensure my customer that the wreath isn't going to come apart. Because have you ever seen those pipe cleaners after you, they've been like moistened quite a few times? They rust out so bad. Whenever I've taken any of my wreaths apart to redo, they're still strong as ever. So I, I like these better. I, I have them in all colors. Um, the only thing was I couldn't find blue or black, so I ended up having to go to Trendy Tree to get them through Trendy Tree. Oh, there's the other color. See? I've got silver, white, light blue, orange, gold, silver, pink, red, blue, and black. I just, just like, I just like the sturdiness of them. And I'm working on something else with them, so I'm hoping I can complete that and share more good news with you. So, and I've got three of these wreath kits available. I just don't have the same pumpkin. So we'd have to add a different pumpkin, but I've got all the ribbon, all the mesh, the tinsel tie, the picks and the sign. I have enough to do three more. You're so welcome, Joy. Did you guys all go over and like our new page? Because on the new page, we'll, we'll be giving you more tips and hints. And then if you decide you want to join our paid group, you will have eight of us for the price of one. Can't beat that. We'll be able to hit every time zone. So if you can't catch us one time, There'll be somebody in your time zone you'll be able to catch. Love you too, Carla. And let me tell you, these designers are amazing. They've been doing this a lot longer than I have. So. And they're a great group to be a part of. I have seen them reach out to so many people. It's been amazing. Any more questions? Anybody have any questions for us? Go over and like our page. And then if you're interested, um, join our group. We'd love to have you. So that's our pancake, pancake wreath. Very, very, very thin. I've made this before this style. And for those of us that have storm doors, this just fits so nicely. We made a pancake wreath, Lori. And you missed our big announcement. Guys, share with Lori our big announcement. We started our own group. We've got eight designers. We've got a regular page. And then we have a paid group page. There's eight of us. Thank you. We figured that we'd be able to hit every time zone. And it wouldn't be so stressful on just one person with eight of us in the group. That's what you missed. Guys, share the link for Lori. The link to both our groups. I know, right? 
Where's my list? Because I know I'll forget somebody. Okay, we've got Carlo, we've got Rita, we've got Dawn, we've got Sandy, we've got Tequila, we've got Susan, we've got LeVon, and myself. We decided that we would uh, work together as a group. Thank you, Anita. So what do you think? You taught us well. We're excited. <laughs> I know I have to keep referring to it because I'm so afraid I'm going to forget somebody. We're just so excited. The link won't let me pin it to the top. Carla shared it a couple of times, but if you find my link with all the links in it, um, it's in there. It's all, it was the, it was the first comment, but again, it wouldn't let me pin it. I know she is. She's awesome. And then I shared the news. I'm going to be a grandma locally. So we're excited. I got I was told on the 4th of July and I couldn't share until now. <laughs> it's been hell. <laughs> Oops. I know, you're awesome. And then I shared a an elephant that I had to do for a customer. Isn't that cute? It has the birth square, it has the child's name and then all the birth information. I make those on my embroidery machine. Okay, there it is. So the first one is the landing, landing Facebook page. And then the second one is the paid group. We figured with how busy all of us are, this would just make it easier on us to be a part of such a awesome group. Thank you. So we're excited. We're gonna have um, a Zoom call once a week and then um, a design design live once a week so we're excited you taught us well because I know it, it, it's just gonna be awesome because everybody brings something different to the table I mean Sandy's got chalk tour Levon has furniture painting um, Rita and Carla have um, all kinds of floral designs. Dawn and I, the wreaths. Um, Susan, the wreaths and floral. Plus, I do sewing. So, we should have a lot of ideas. Well, we all do. It's awesome. Our first live is this Friday night. Am I correct, Susan? Is Sue doing the first live? And then on Monday nights, we'll have our Zoom calls to answer any questions anybody has. So, oh, right. And, and Rita does t-shirts and hats too. The ninth. The ninth is our first one. So... We are excited. That's right. No. Okay, the ninth is our first Zoom call, but our first live is the 13th. Sandy and Susan are doing <laughs> Friday the 13th. So, we're doing Halloween. 
So it's awesome. Okay, guys, I think we're good. We need our announcement. Make sure you go on and like our page. And uh, look forward to uh, seeing you soon. I know I go live. Aw, uh, thank you. I go live on Wednesday afternoon at 2. Dawn goes on Wednesday evening. Rita goes on Thursday. Right, Rita? Carla goes on Wednesday. Tequila goes on Wednesday night. So, we got a lot coming up. All right, guys, I appreciate you joining. Thank you. And if you need any any information about anything, don't hesitate to contact me. The tinsel ties were Trendy Tree and um, Sims. All right, guys, thank you. And have a good evening. Love you all.